Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Twinkle's AI Report Writer. Let's get started. Hey guys, so here we have our report writer at Twinkle. You can see that you have two options here. You have the instant report writer and the in-depth report writer. So when it comes to the different types of reports that you can write on here, this just basically summarizes what exactly the instant report writer does and the in-depth report writer. So the instant one produces rapid reports in approximately 60 seconds, and it's perfect for creating a quick and individual pupil report. Whereas the in-depth report writer uses AI and it generates curriculum specific reports from a bank of teacher written statements and it produces really detailed reports in under five minutes. This is perfect for creating multiple and in-depth reports at once. In order to use this report writer, you do need an ultimate Twinkle membership. I'm going to show you how to use the instant report writer. So once you've clicked on the instant report writer, you will see that you get taken to this page. So what you need to do is you need to choose the curriculum that you are currently teaching. You have lots of options here on lots of different curriculums across the world. So I am going to choose the England National Curriculum because that is what I teach. I'm going to put my student's name in, it's Sarah. Um, the year group, I'm going to put her as year three. Um, approximately, I want this paragraph to be about 150 words, but you do have a selection to choose from 50 words or 250 words, depending on how long you want it to be. The subject I'm going to go for is maths, and I want the um, what comes out, I want it to be in English. So the topics covered, this part is optional, but I'm going to put it in any way, just so it can make it a little bit more specific. So I'm going to mention place value, um, number, statistics, geometry, and fractions. So you can put the progress level here. I'm going to put her as meeting expectations and then specific details. That's optional as well, but depends on how, how accurate you want this to be. Like the more detail you add, the more detail it will, um, it will come out with. So I'm going to put that she works well independently and within a group um, sometimes struggles to share her ideas in front of the whole class um, very confident in addition and subtraction and I'm going to leave it as that. So let's see what it comes up with. So you click generate, it's going to do its thing. And then you can see here what it's come up with a short paragraph kind of explaining what a bit more detail of what I've put here. So it says Sarah has shown good progress in her year three math studies this term. She's meeting expectations in all areas, including place value, number statistics, geometry, and fractions. Sarah works well independently as well as within a group, although she sometimes struggles to share her ideas in front of the whole class. She's very confident in addition and subtraction and shows great potential for further development in other areas of maths. Overall, Sarah is making good progress and I am pleased with her achievements this term. So as you can see, the instant um, report writer has basically just put all the information that I put here and just put it into a paragraph. So this would be perfect if you if your report has like different sections that you need to complete. So if you have like an English section, a math section, a science section, then this would be perfect because it literally just summarizes how your student is doing in maths. So now let's have a look at the in-depth report writer. So this one, as you can see, looks very different to the instant report writer that we just looked at. What you'll need to do is once you get onto this bit, you'll just need to put in the child's first name and their pronouns. So this is this actually works really well if you have like a group of children that may be working at a similar level. So for example, I've inputted five children that I feel are working at a similar level. I've chosen the national curriculum. Again, you have so much choice here. So I've chosen the, the national curriculum and then you can choose your subject. So you've got a huge range of different subjects here. Um, I'm going to choose maths and I'm going to choose um, the topic within maths. So 
let's go with statistics and then I'll put at what where the that group of children is working so I'm going to put them as year three middle ability and it will basically give you a range of comments that you can select so I'm just going to select the comments that I feel are relevant to the group of children that I am writing about at the moment. Here on number and place value, I'm going to click on middle ability and there are two statements there that they are um, achieving. And then again, with addition and subtraction, multiplication and division, you don't have to choose all of them, but I'm just gonna pop them all in to just see what it looks like. Okay, so let's, you've also got a section for general statements too. Works, has worked really hard in maths. So as you can see here, here are all of the statements that you can actually choose what order you want it to go in. You can delete some if you don't think they're relevant. And now we're going to go on to generate report. So this is what it's come up with. It's got a different paragraph for each child talking about how they're doing in maths. So this is really good because it's used the statements that I had up here and it's just put it into a paragraph and each paragraph looks very different as well and sounds very different. So this is a really good way of using the in-depth report writer. Another option that you can do as well is you can also make these statements longer or make it shorter. So say for example, you feel that it is a bit too short, you can just click on make it longer and um, it should um, just add a couple more sentences or maybe just reword a few sentences. There you go, so you can see that it's made it slightly longer and um, that might be a little bit more better depending on what you need for your report. And you can copy these straight over as well. Another thing that you can do on the in-depth report writer is that say you just want a big paragraph just talking about one particular child and just talking about the entire year, every subject, that sort of thing. You can also do that as well on the in-depth report writer. So say for example, I'm going to add Sarah again. I'm going to put her as female and then I can select the curriculum, which is the national curriculum. And then I can talk about lots of different subjects in one go. So if I wanna talk about art and design, there's some general statements here. So I'm gonna put that she's lower key stage two because she's in year three, middle ability. And I can choose some statements here that um, I feel that relates back to Sarah. So I can say that she uses a sketchbook, um, she has a good understanding of complementary colors. She can join parts of 3D sculpture successfully. And then I can go on to computing and I can talk about computer science and talk about lower key stage two middle ability and just choose a couple of statements that I feel relates back to Sarah. Um, I've also got some general comments in here as well. So you've got some general personality comments. So I could say she's a happy and enthusiastic member of our class. I could say she's keen and confident. Some behavior comments, tries her best, always follows the rules, listens carefully and follows instructions. Got friendships here, has a few close friends with working with others. I can say that they work sensibly with members of the class. And just a couple of statements for next year as well that um, I wish every success in the future. And it's been a pleasure to teach. So that's an, another thing you can do as well. So you can see all the statements are here and you can then generate the report as we did before. Now it's just given us a short paragraph to summarizing all of those statements. And it kind of just like gives you a general overview and kind of ends off the report in a good way. So you can also use the in-depth report writer for this too. And again, you can make it longer or shorter as required. It's important to note that if you decide to use Twinkle's AI tool, that you use it as a starting point and it must be adapted. AI can provide you with a great foundation to get you started on the many, many tasks you have to complete as a teacher. But you definitely need to make sure that you aren't relying on the AI tool to do all the work for you. I hope that you have found this video helpful. I am looking forward to sharing even more ways you can use our amazing AI tool to help you with your workload. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.